he's not gonna turn so much. Like he's gonna try to stay square with me. So we're gonna be here, getting here, guys. I'm changing levels. I'm clearing this off. There. He's shooting it. That's all we're working on now, guys. So your level change is what's gonna get you off. Because he's gonna be holding this tight. So I'm gonna level, and I'm gonna pass this by. Once I have this, right here, guys, I have a little bit of time. I'm holding him off. Alright, so just real quick, real fast, throw it by, shoot it. Alright? Yeah, yeah. I'm dropping and popping it off. You know what I mean? It's going to be hard. Just get behind that elbow. You got it. Alright, one, two. For the knee shield, and then we'll stop working for the position. So let me borrow uh, Chris. Alright, you got it. Alright, so we're going to Using the knee here, the knee is going to help you from keeping that person chest to chest on you. Okay. The other thing we have to worry about is the cross facing. Right? So, you want to control the wrist here and, and the shoulder here, okay, framing out. The good thing about holding the wrist from this position is you can always attack it and stuff like the more it's doing. Good control points here. So from here, I'm going to kick my leg through and I'm going to Almost for the underhook here. Get my head, get my ear to the chest here. I'm gonna release and I'm gonna hook underneath the leg. As I do, I'm gonna create a bump. From here, I'm gonna step over. I'm gonna start pulling with my heel. Start pulling and I'm gonna start scooting underneath. Look at how I create this constant stretch here on his leg. Don't assume that the person is just going to let you get underneath them. So as soon as you get to your elbow, here, you got to bump, try to get his hands on the floor, and then step over and start working. Okay? Make sure you're not missing out on that bump. All right, one, two, three.